Yu-Gi-Oh tubers, JBuzzSaw79. Here are the deck profile of my Fire Kings. And just to make it right away in the video, uh, I have other profiles I've done of Fire Kings already this year. This will be the last one I do for you. So, uh, starting out three Grunix. I know a lot of people don't like running three Grunix. Uh, I like running three Grunix because of the fact you can destroy them from your hand. Um, and also, you know, sometimes you summon them, people try to like your little bottom with them. Well, now you, just, you can't do it. Uh, three also kind of guarantee I think the loop a little bit more. So that's why I run three. Uh, next up, I'm running two bear right now. Uh, I cut out a, a, a gorilla. Um, and it was inside just to see if running bear would be better than running gorilla. Uh, I still might go back and try to straight up add the gorilla. I do like to have a double bear though, so I don't know. We'll have to see. If, uh, I have a card I can take out for, but double uh, wolf bark too. I like running wolf bark. Just because it's freaking wolf bark, so you know it is what it is. Um, I don't think three is good, and I, you know that's all I can always say about that. Uh, this one here is a little bit of a tech here for myself. The furious eater, or fiend eater of nefariousness, whatever. Uh, basically, if it's in your graveyard, you can go ahead during your. Uh, I've been standby, yeah, and destroy one card on the field. And then special summon this from the grave. So basically, you destroy, uh, you know, Runix or something else, and you special summon him out, and you make you play from there, or Yaksha, or you know, whatever, Braun, whatever. So, a uh, really good card, actually. I think you can use some crazy things with it and such later, too. Three Yaksha, standard. Uh, only two Braun. I think three is kind of like Loggy. And, uh, in place of him, I've added some other cards back in, which I had actually taken out of the deck at one point, which I don't know why I ever did, because I'm just a silly person, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's that. Uh, so, Double Flame Dog. Uh, I added back in, and I took out one Barbaro, or Baron, and I don't know the other card I took out, but yeah. Uh, reason why, it's a 19 body for one, um, which just gets over so much stuff that it's actually kind of amazing. Um, you throw 10 key on it, it's 2,000. You know, you get 10, double 10, 10 key out, or you throw 10 key and uh, 10 su, or 10 guru, whatever. I don't remember what the spell is. But yeah, you know, I mean, it's a 21, so you plow it over, burning abyss, stuff like that. So, and then there's effect, you can special summon. Uh, so you go grab another, you know, Yaksha, you can go grab Baron. Uh, you can go grab, I'll show you a few more here, obviously. This guy, Flame Bell Magician, or this guy here, Neo Flame Bell Magician. Uh, so you can grab tuners. Uh, if you get the Hedgehog, you can go to seven. You can go make Black Rose, wipe the field down with that. You go to a uh, Flame Bell Magician here, that would be eight. And that uh, allows you to go get um, several other different things that you can grab. So, you know, there's that in a nutshell there. Uh, and then I do tech in also one copy of Nethys. You know, some people don't know Nethys. Uh, I say, why not? I mean, you can hit her with a lot of stuff, too. Uh, you can use Archfiend of Nethariousness on her, too. Pop and wipe down the back row. People, to me, would rather run 3MST, but why not just run one copy of her? Just to, it, It's more destructive. keeps coming back. You can hit it with Greenex, then. Uh, I did add this one in, too, the... Coach Captain uh, Bearman. Uh, I usually normal summon him because then he makes all other uh, Beast Warriors that are up on a field level 8. Uh, and then you can go ahead and make Synchro off it like that. If you have uh, Hedgehog here out, you can go to 11 and make uh, Level Leader and freaking Level Leader's boss. So uh, I still run a double MST. So I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, I did cut. Uh, one onslaught of fire kings and I cut one circle because basically they're both kind of cloggy for me right now So I'm just trying to find some ways to get around that uh, I am running three supply squads because it is basically almost a gimme with this deck uh, If anything you get Grunex going away or nefariousness is going to eat something And you pop that way and draw your card uh, And if you have like let's say one Grunex out you have two of these you have two draw two cards a turn so you know that's, and if you have nefariousness, what's fun with that is, 
if something comes back, you can use the furiousness to uh, pop, you know, like Runix off, and then draw to that way. So, you know, that's something. A little dark hole because it's freaking, you know, Fire King Runix. He loves the dark hole. He he wants the dark hole. He needs the dark hole. He wants to be in the dark holes. Uh, three first mission ten key because it searches. Uh, rest of your plays out and gives fodder for bear. So you know. And then a first mission ten two. Uh, just because sometimes at one point today I couldn't summon. Uh, so I used my. Uh, Tensu played Tensu Tensu to summon another monster, and then tributed that uh, on another monster, so I could tribute summon uh, Runix into play uh, because they had the uh, organism, whatever trap card in play that says level five or more cannot be special summoned. So I actually tributed Runix into play. So yeah, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Uh, run, run rekindle one soul charge again just to. Refill the board for like a mass swarm, you know, if you're trying to go for game or something or set up the big play. These are both awesome. So, uh, last of all, I have three traps only. I run Double Call and Torrential. Torrential because, again, more board wipe activates Grunix and Nethys and those other cards that blow up and you get the draws off of that, which is also good. Fish on opponent's turn. Awesome. Uh, finally, I have Double Call the Haunted because in this deck, you know, somebody says, oh, you will hit your back row, they don't really know what it is. So you activate Call the Haunted, grab Grunix, grab Nethys, you know, whatever, and then we'll destroy it, activate its effect. So it's a really good place. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like. Uh, it's up entirely to you, I don't beg for them. But uh, go ahead and share it with people, please. And drop comments down below if you like, alright? Uh, this is JBuzzsaw79, signing off. Thanks a lot.